Look at him. They're all in the fucking way. All of them. There's one back there. One back there, back there. And this one. He's about to dump all that crap in the road. <sighs> Good morning, YouTubes. Uh, so, today, we're gonna talk about two things. So it's gonna be an in-car vlog. But the first thing is, I'm sure a lot of people have found out if you Google it, I'm sure it's on there. But I didn't see anything on YouTube about it, so I figured I'd just post something about it. But yesterday, from my dealer where I work, they, uh, we got word, or I got word, that is confirmed that an LCF will be debuted at the end of this year, or sometime in fall. So, I was excited about it, because it's, you know, the LC500, which is a 5-point liter V8, 440-something horsepower, something like that. I don't know, I'd have to look at it, but... It's a $100,000 coupe car. It's really nice. I've been in a few of them. I drove on, and I I like the inside of them more than I like the outside of them. But I can't lie, the car's actually been growing on me. I kind of like it more and more, especially seeing what other people have been doing to them. But so anyway, the LCF, all that I know of, it's going to be a 4.0 liter. That's twin turbo, and it's supposed to be around 600 horsepower. And I don't know about the torque. Like I said, I don't know that much about it. I was just told what little bit I know from one of the guys I work with. Anyway, so I'm excited about that. Hopefully, if everything goes well with the car and it does come out, I'm hoping that we get one. Usually we do. When the LFA came out, we actually had one at our dealership, and they did a whole reveal for it. And a guy actually bought it right then and there over the phone, not knowing what the car even was. Someone called him about it. I think the story is. So I think it was an advisor. She called the customer and said, "Hey, we got a new car in. We think that you might would be interested. This is the color of it." And pretty much he was like, done, I'm going on vacation, have it ready, I'll come get it. I'm not sure if he wrote a check for it or he paid cash, but as you can imagine, someone who buys an LFA, this guy had more money than what he knows what to do with. So anyway, that's pretty much it of the first topic. It's something I'm excited about is we get a V8 that's twin turbo. Uh, it's sad it's not a 5.0, but... I mean, it's okay, I guess. Four liter still gonna be pretty strong enough for a car. Uh, if I were to take a guess for price range, it's probably gonna be somewhere about, being at the regular LC 500s are 100, I will say about 150. Hopefully they keep it under 200. It's probably gonna be somewhere between like 150 and 170. So anyway. I'm excited. I hope we get one because it's going to be cool as shit to see. But, alright, on the topic number two, which we will talk about now. Alright, now that work's over with, I'm exhausted. I was tired this morning and I had a whole bunch of energy and then we got slammed at work, so now I'm tired. But yeah, LF, LCF, whatever. Excited. So the second thing I wanted to talk about was uh, don't talk shit, but I think it's a meme or the memes that people have been doing, and they have I'm calling it car bur car booty versus real booty. That's when you know they got either a blurry picture of like a chick's ass and then they got the clear version is the car the back of a car and for one 
I just I can't fathom people comparing the two. I just that's not something I would ever do. Uh, I'm sure they're just joking when they do it, but if anybody's ever like actually serious about it, then yeah, I know something's wrong with them. compare a nice ass that's like perfect to a rear end of a car. It just, it don't work. I could never see a car the same way. It just, there's no way. It's not happening. So, just a quick little segment. I just wanted to see what are y'all thoughts on it. If y'all want to comment below and just, I want, I'm curious to see what y'all think about it. I mean, I'm like I said, I'm sure people are playing around when they post and things like that, but I just, I could, me personally, I just can't compare it to. So anyway, I guess enough of that. Tell me your thoughts on it. Comment below. Like the video. And subscribe if you're new. I wanted to uh, thank my new subscribers that I have and, of course, all my old ones. Appreciate y'all for being with me on this, I guess, adventure you can say I'm trying to do. I uh, hope my content gets better, but I'm going to try to think of something fun and entertaining to talk about or post or, you know, really anything. Uh, there's only so much I could do right now being that I have a full-time job and it's not just, uh, I really shouldn't even say a job, it's really a career for me. But I try to get as much free time as I can to do videos like this. Like, I filmed the first part in the morning when I was going to work because it was decently lit outside. And the second portion when I'm going home, which the sun's going down, which I only got tomorrow, which is Sunday. So, and I'm trying to balance it between, you know, get work out the way. I'm trying to go home, spend time with the family, and then also do other things I like to do on top of doing this. So, I'm, I'm working it out. I'm getting there. I want to do a either 0 to 60 video or 60 plus or you know I just want to I want to do one of those acceleration videos I guess because I know I have one guy who's interested in possibly I guess getting one of these which all I can say is everything good about it I have no cons about this car for me I knew what I was looking at getting I knew what the car was I knew everything about it I wasn't expecting anything that I knew the car couldn't do, so it's definitely a good buy. Look for those ones that's got low mileage, and just try to get just you know be careful when you're looking. I mean, I mean it's a sports car, like any high-end, I guess, or a high-performance car or anything. If you catch something that's too good to be true, it's very possible it is. You know. Just be careful which ones you look at to buy. Be thorough about it. Check everything. And you know who you are, but if you do end up getting one, if you have any questions about it or anything, or anything that comes up concerns-wise, I'll try to help you out the best I can. All right, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Like, comment, please subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next one.